Hey, we, we finna get right into it, man. Hop right in this thing. It's been a second. You know what I mean? Let's pray. Uh, God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to uh, give me your words. Give me what to say. I feel like you already done that, but I ask you to uh, lead and guide, order my speech, my words. I just ask you to give me what to say. Let it be you speaking through me. Uh, let the inspiration come from you. I just ask you to lead me, guide me in, in my speech, in what I say. I pray for prophetic utterance. Uh, all that. I, I pray that it be your spirit speaking through me and not just me. And uh, yeah, let me open up my mouth and speak as the oracles of God. You know what I mean? Uh, all that type of stuff. And uh, yeah, I thank you for this word because it's, it's real and uh thank you for being with me and being with us in jesus name amen you know what i'm saying the title of the sermon is gonna be war games and i'm, I'm gonna talk about i'm gonna talk about war and i ain't talking about spiritual war and i ain't talking about iraq or you know what i mean somewhere over there you know i'm talking about war in these streets and uh but just you know what i mean conflict you know what i'm saying stuff like that and different levels it can go to, killer culture, you know what I'm saying, all that. Uh, but before that, I'm finna get into all these current events, man. I'm gonna do that first. Let me write this down, too, so I know what to put in the description. In the description of the videos, you know what I'm saying, I try to put the subjects, because I, I got a feeling I'm finna talk for about two hours, <laughs> probably make like four videos, I try to put the subjects, you know what I'm saying, in the description of each video, part one, two, three, four, all that. Uh, I'm finna talk about all this shooting going on, man. It's a whole lot of stuff going on, man. I, I and, and, and I'm a news person, and I can't even keep up. And I ain't even talking about personal shooting. I'm talking about mass shootings. Like, somebody got killed in a church parking lot, like two people or one person got killed in Iowa. It was a, it was a massive church shooting in Nigeria. I think like 21 people died. Everybody know about the school shooting in South Texas. Uh, it was a shooting in Philadelphia and then some stuff went down in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And then the, the supermarket shooting in Buffalo, like it's, it's really kind of, it's crazy right now, man, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? This is a, a good time to pray, not to be caught at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know what I'm saying? You can pray for, for these people to get delivered and, and all that, you know, and I'm 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 with all that. You know, I believe in standing for the gap for the, standing in the gap for the worst of the worst. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you 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 praying for them, but you I pray for yourself too, you did. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to get caught. And and, and then and, and I'm gonna tell you this. Any you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling the pressure, you know what I'm saying? With the money. I ain't doing bad, you know what I'm saying? But I feel the pressure, you know what I'm saying? A few months ago it was a little smoother. Like it's it's getting real, you dig? But I, I thank God for providing. You really gotta live by faith. You know what I'm saying? Inflation and stuff is getting tight. And stuff is getting crazy. And anytime the money, the economy and all that start getting tight, you already know a bunch of crazy stuff in the happen. And then, you know, we done jumped off the summer. We not even officially in summer, but, you know, what I'm saying May, June, you know, what I'm saying stuff, then stuff is pretty wild. You know, what I'm saying and get on my little political stuff like the guns ain't the problem, man. It's these people. You know what I'm saying? And just to be real with y'all, man, the place where I live across the street, it's a, a, like a dental place. And a dude had killed a dude, a, a customer, a client, a patient, a dental patient. You know what I'm saying? He went up in that mug and killed like two dentists, two doctors over some dentures. You know, now this was like three, two or three months ago. You know what I mean? This right across the street from, from, from where I stay at. You know what I'm saying? And uh it, it, hey, stuff is wild, man. Uh it's just a lot going on, man. It's a good time to pray. Uh I, I'm gonna talk about all this too, staying strapped, but I'm gonna I'm gonna really talk about that because don't nobody really stay strapped all the time. 
You know what I'm saying? Maybe the police or something, but I mean, strap every t- everywhere you go. When you go in the gas station, when you go in the Walmart, when you go out to eat, when you walking in the park. Nah, I don't nobody. I don't be strapped all the time. You know what I mean? So it ain't that gun that's really protecting you. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to get caught at the wrong place at the wrong time when somebody gets a wilding out and get to blicking. You know what I mean? But uh, it's a lot going on, man. Uh, a lot going on, man. But it's, you know, the president and he a Democrat, so you already know what they going to do. They going to start just like when Sandy Hook, uh, what was that, Delaware, somewhere up there, Connecticut or something, Sandy Hook. When uh, I, this was probably like 2013, I was on my King of the Underworld stuff, <laughs> not underwear, <laughs> King of the Underworld. <laughs> hey, but hey, this one I had the Sandy Hook, uh, uh, a school had got shot up, church is getting shot up, but yeah, the school had got shot up in Sandy Hook, and uh, you know, they was trying to do all this stuff about guns, man. That ain't if somebody really want a gun, they gonna get a hold of a gun, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, one of my co... Well, I- I'm going to talk about this when I talk about war. But one of my co-workers was like, you know what I'm saying? I understand guns, but but uh, uh, why people need assault rifles? And-, and that's real. You know what I'm saying? Because assault rifle is when you finna, you finna chop something down. Like, it ain't no one or two people. Like, you really finna... You know what I mean? Like, but at the same time... Look at how many people use guns responsibly. And and uh and and you know, look at how many people use guns responsibly. And a lot of people use guns for crime, but it's it's only a select few that use guns for the real goofy stuff that's going on. It's only a few people that use guns for that and and them it's something up here or it's and it's something demonic. And that's a whole different level of the demonic, you know what I mean? But it's not the gun measures. Like, we're going to be tighter on gun restriction. Nah, that's not it, bro. And then what you do is you put the normal people, the people that ain't out of their mind, trying to kill a group of people that ain't never did nothing to them. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? You putting the normal people at a disadvantage. But, you know, in Texas, we good. We gravy. (laughs) You know what I mean? But... But at that school, though, uh, you know, a lot of the schools allow teachers and stuff to have guns in Texas. So I don't know about that school. You know what I'm saying? But but uh, them gun laws, man, that's just what Democrats going to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up Democrat. That's just what they going to push. It's a few things they going to push, period. They going to push gay rights. They going to push gun uh con- gun restrictions and all that they going to push uh uh oh yeah that yeah yeah the good thing about democrats though you know they they going to look out for civil rights but really they group oh yeah it's gay pride month if y'all didn't know <laughs> they uh they push civil rights like for blacks and uh minorities but they also consider gays like on the same level, like they're a minority and they finna, you know what I'm saying, push their rights too. Uh, and then when you black, people automatically assume you're a Democrat, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I'm not in the tradition, you know what I'm saying? You got to give me facts and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't really consider myself a Republican either, but I, I line up with the Republicans more than the uh, Democrats, you know what I'm saying? I think I, I done talked about all this before. I'll go through it real quick, though. You know what I'm saying? The reason I, uh, what I like about Democrats is they going to push uh, for rights and equality for the minority races. Um, they going to uh, do different things to help the poor, help people in financial need. You know what I'm saying? That's two good things. And then, uh, you know, the, I, I think it's the Dem- way well, your yeah, Democrats push for the legal <laughs> legalization of marijuana. You know what I mean? That's three things. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Now, the Republicans, I really link, I, I really line up with the Republicans more, though, because they going to push for. Uh, 
they going to push for um, traditional marriage, keep marriage traditional. I agree with that man and a woman. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gun, gun rights, the right to bear arms. That's a Republican, uh, like a point that they stand behind. Uh, rights, they look out for the rights of Christians. They support Israel. That's four things. And it's something else about Republicans, too. It's one more thing. What I say, Christian rights, support for Israel. Oh, yeah, uh, anti-abortion. Pro pro life. That's three. Um, I don't know. I lost count. But it, it's it's like it's like five things. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get it right. Okay. Okay. Pro pro life. Uh, traditional marriage between a man and a woman. Um, the right to bear arms. The right to have guns. That's three. They gonna support Israel. That's four. And they they uh try to keep the rights of Christians. They try to make it where Christians have the freedom to be a Christian. You know what I mean? So that's five. And then Democrats, it was weed. It was uh they gonna look out for the poor and they gonna look out for minority races. So it's five to three. So I, I line up really more with the Republicans, but. You know, to each his own. But but I'm going to say this. If you're going to stand behind something, don't let it be tradition. Like, have a reason. Like, this is why I am, am a Democrat. This is why. Oh, yeah, another thing. When it comes to presidents and people be going by personalities. Like, when it comes to personality, like, Obama was probably the coolest, pres the, the coolest, the smoothest president we'll ever have man you know what i mean he and he have black or really he just considered black you know what i'm saying technically he have black but he just considered black he the coolest the smoothest president we'll ever have but that's his personality but a president is is more about issues the issues that you stand for and support and what you against like that's what matters the most when you trying to pick a president or somebody in some type of political authority position, it, what matters is what they stand on, not their personality, though. You know what I'm saying? Because you could be the coolest and the smoothest, but you supporting some stuff that that I don't support. You know what I'm saying? Or you standing on you standing for some stuff that I ain't trying to stand for. You know what I mean? So it's about issues. It ain't about personality. Like Trump, probably people would probably say he had the craziest uh, personality that a person would not like. Like he was the most, he had the most, uh, like the worst personality, you know what I mean? But them issues, I would actually line up with him more than, you know what I mean, whoever, you know what I mean? So, but anyway, Stand on what you stand for, but have a real reason for it, though. Now, don't let it just be, well, this was passed down. This is what everybody else do. This is what all the other black folks support. Like, have a reason, though. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, this is really just introductory words, man. I'm just flowing. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Y'all want to get to the interesting stuff. <laughs> Okay, we talked about all that, man. Hey, hey, yeah, the guns ain't the problem, though, man. It's it's the people, man. Deranged, lunatics, man. Demon possessed, man. You know what I mean? Who who want to kill somebody? Hit your man. If you gonna kill somebody, that's bad enough. If you gonna kill somebody, shoot somebody, that's bad enough. But hit your man, though. You know what I'm saying? Not all these innocent bystanders, and and they doing it for the fun of it, bro. Like they they getting a kick and a thrill out of. You know what I'm saying? Killing kids and killing innocent people. Like, nah, we, we don't, on, uh, from a street level, we don't support that. I don't support that. I ain't with none of that. You know what I'm saying? That's why all these uh, gangster rappers talking about hopping out the car and walking up and walking down on somebody. The whole purpose of that is to hit your target. Because all that drive by, you hitting innocent people that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. And most street dudes ain't got no kind of aim. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm going to throw that in there. <laughs> Most of these gangsters ain't got no aim, though. You know what I'm saying? And then they got these Glocks with the switch. You know what I mean? A whole lot of innocent people getting hit. But I ain't even talking about the gangsters. I'm talking about these other insane people, man. You know what I'm saying? They shooting at crowds and schools and churches and innocent people. Like, that stuff crazy, man. But, uh, hey, it is, it is, hey, this is the world we live in, though. You know, pray not to be caught at the wrong place at the wrong time, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into it, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it ain't the guns, man. It's the people. I'm, I'm going to have mine, whether it's legal or not. I ain't going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? But I don't put my trust in it. But at the same time, I, I feel like it could be a valuable tool. You know what I'm saying? In the time of need. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't want to put too much trust in it, too much faith in it. You know what I'm saying? I got God with me everywhere I go. I got my gun most places where I go. <laughs> you dig? But I got God everywhere. You know what I mean? You can have your gun on you, but if you don't see the killer coming, you don't see the shooter, you know what I mean? It'd be too late. You know what I mean? So anyway, it's real, man. But the guns ain't the problem, man. It's, it's the people, man. You can't put a laws about guns on the whole society when it's only a few pop out people in society. It's only a few people in society that really want to go crazy like that. It's only a few people, you know what I'm saying? 0.1% that want to go crazy like that, but you want to put a gun laws on the whole society and really putting people at a disadvantage. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, it's the people. And then if, if, if one of these crazy people that want to shoot up a school or shoot up a grocery store, if they want a gun bad enough, they're going to get a hold of that mug from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? they they going to get it. You know, but I kind of understand what people are saying, though, as far as assault rifles and fully auto. But fully auto is illegal. But even if it ain't fully auto, you know what I mean? It is what it is, man. You know, you, you can't. Somebody, they'll get a hold of that mug, man. They'll get a hold of it one way or another if they really want it. You know what I mean? Because these people be crazy, but they be smart, too. You know what I'm saying? They be deranged, but they be smart. But I don't know, man. I, I can't. I understand where they coming from, but that, I don't feel like that's the answer. I don't know what the answer is, you know, besides God, you know. But, yeah, them assault rifles, man, but. On some gangster stuff, though, you keep your pistol for the jump off. Some spur of the moment, and you need that mug. That's what you got your pistol for, really defense. But then if you really finna go on offense on some type of mission and you really trying to chop down, you know what I'm saying, a, a group of people, you finna go bang on the ops and they all together, and you try to chop down as many as you can, that's when you get your, you know what I mean, <laughs> your assault rifle or some Glock with the switch, 50 round, 100 round. Hey, anyway, but uh, but yeah, man, it's really not the guns. It's really the people. But I do understand when they want to uh, kind of restrict access to assault rifles and all that. I do understand that. But I mean, the regular people should be able to have the mugs because everybody not going crazy like that. If you hunt or whatever you do or you just want to protect your household, you ought to be able to have that mug. Just because a few crazy people want to wild out, that shouldn't, you know what I'm saying, make them restrict the laws on society as a whole. You know what I mean? But, hey, that's that's what they going to do. That's what Biden them going to push for. That's their answer to all this. And if they don't push for it, it's going to look like they not doing nothing. So, but, you know, he probably ain't going to get too far because we've been through all this before. It's like a cycle, man. We went through this in 2013, man. Uh, I don't even remember who was president. Yeah, matter of fact, it was Obama, if I ain't tripping. 2000, yeah, he was president in 2013, you know. But like I said, man, because when you make something illegal, you just open up the black market. If it's, it's supply and demand, period. You make it illegal, it's just going to you just going to open up the black market for it. You know what I mean? So anyway, but yeah, y'all want to get into this other stuff. Uh, young thug. I had, I had just got through talking about people who caught Rico charges on the, uh, on some pimping. And then it was funny. Like the next day or two, young thug and them caught they Rico. 
And then it was kind of funny that they got the song Pushing P. <laughs> but the P could be Pyru. But matter of fact, though, I heard I heard Gunna was really from Rolling 60s. Gunna and Lil Baby is from Rolling 60s. And uh, that's what I heard. And, uh, and but but Gunna is linked in heavy with Young Thug and Young Thug. They got their own blood gang. But the push and P can be Pyru. You know what I'm saying? And uh, but the push and P could be pimping and shout out Sauce Walker. He had to correct them, boy. He said that he said it's popping P. You know what I'm saying? Pop pimping at her. You know what I'm saying? Popping pimping. You know what I'm saying? That's really what it is. Don't pop your collar, pop pimping. You know what I'm saying? The shoot at a bra. I ain't talking about with a gun. You know what I mean? Campaign on the bra. You know what I mean? Spit pimping to the bra. You know what I'm saying? That's popping P. You know what I'm saying? But they say pushing P, but you know it's some people say that's Pyru, they, they, you know what I mean? But some people say pimping, you know what I mean? But they got that hit song in Costa Rico at the same time. So that's kind of crazy. But they was invest, they was investigating Blood since uh, 2012, though. And I wasn't trying to talk bad about Blood, but I said I said Blood not built for that. <laughs> hey, I said Blood not built for that. You know what I'm saying? And uh. But blood, blood got to doing too much, man. And, and check this out, man. They say, uh, they say the reason behind him and uh, YFE and Lucci beef is it, it all it come back down to a female. You know what I'm saying? It come back down to a female, and uh, that's like he abused his power. You know what I'm saying? But but whew, I don't want to just I don't want to just bash. I don't want to bash him, but. I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he he called. Oh yeah, but but they were investigating him since 2012. They they trying to put a lot of bodies on him, and now it's kind of old now to be honest. But uh, they say like it's, it's it's a lot of people in that clique snitching. You know what I mean? And then think about the Rico. The Rico was was built for the mob, the Italian mob, because they weren't doing no snitching. That's it was hard to make anything stick on them. That's what made them come up with the Rico. It was people that's built like that. It was built, it was made to break down people that's built like that. People like, you ain't built like that. You he ain't cut like that. But the Rico was made to break down gangsters that are built like that. So then that's what made the mob start snitching. They start facing, you facing all these big numbers, you facing life and you facing these big numbers and big time. And, uh, you know what I mean? Dudes start snitching, you know what I mean? But, uh, and then another thing about the Rico, it, it started off federal, the federal Rico, but now they also got state Rico, you know what I'm saying? For, you know what I'm saying? Cause the, 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 the Rico started with the mob, but then you know, they can use the Rico on any type of organized crime, gang activity. Uh, you could be a pimp with some women and, and they put they can put the Rico on you. Any type of organized crime, you know what I mean? Whether it's whether it's some gangster stuff, some street stuff, some robbing, some killing. What does it stand for? Racketeering and influencing uh through a corrupt organization or something like that, you know what I mean? But any, any, anything, man, all type of street activity, man, it could be anything and they could put a Rico on you if it's more than one person and y'all conspiring and collaborating to do dirt, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's meant to break that stuff down, man, and I always said Young Thug went built, went built like that, but it's crazy that they putting, it sound like they putting everything on Young Thug because they make, because he the leader. And then sometimes be like, who, you know, <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I ain't finna bash him, man. I, I just, I can't get past that dress thing, though. But, you know, it might be something about me. Somebody be like, I can't get past that. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I can't get past that. Like, your OG had a dress on. Like, what is you talking <laughs> What is you talking about? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. That's just me. That's just me, man. <laughs> You following blood and he had a dress on. But anyway, man. Uh <laughs> hey, I can't get past that, man. But now nah, I ain't gonna lie though. I mean, blood could explain that. Be like, say, man, I had to 
put that dress on for my album cover, man. You know what I'm saying? So I could get to these M's. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I could get to these millions. I ain't never messed around on no gay stuff or nothing. I just had to, you know what I mean, throw the dress on, man. You know what I'm saying? That's not who I am, though. <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, right, I'm finna stop, man. But, hey, now it could be an explanation, though. Like, I don't know, man, you know. You know, I don't know, man. You know, if that's what you got to do to, you know what I'm saying, get to the next level, you know, with them M's, with them millions. I don't know, man. But, uh, hey, man, hey, 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 uh, I don't know, man, but, uh, I don't know, I don't feel like he was built like that, though, because if you built like that, on, on one hand, but on, on the, on, on one hand, you ain't even got to be built like that, man, if you, if you, you connected with the streets, right, but you, you got put on in the industry, so at the end of the day, you popping, you got money, you got women, you got drugs. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people going to follow somebody who got all that. It don't matter if they was real or not. And, and that's actually another conversation where people be talking about like people, people from they, from different neighborhoods and stuff like you got certain dudes that's more loyal to the code. Then you got dudes that's not so loyal to the code. They done did some weird, I ain't going to say weird, but they done did some, uh, some stuff in they past or whatever that just technically they wasn't keeping it G or they done did some stuff where they might have actually lost their G credibility, you know what I mean? But they, you know, but they got money and stuff like if people the that I heard one dude say he was like, it don't matter if they real, they gonna follow the bag. Like you got a few people that ain't gonna follow the bag. You really gotta be real in the streets. Like you really gotta be like certified you can't be no smut on your name like they only gonna mess with people like that but then most people if you got the money and the drugs and all that they gonna follow you whether you was you know what i'm saying real or not you know you might have done some some shady stuff it might be some dirt on your name you know what i mean but you got the bag so it's dudes from the hood that's gonna follow you period because you got the bag and then there's certain dudes that's more loyal to the code and stuff. And if you got any type of smut on your name, they not messing with you. It's only a few dudes like that, though. Most dudes are going to follow behind whoever got the bag. It don't matter if they was really certified and really bona fide in the street like that. Like, it don't really matter. You know what I mean? So I, I feel like that's how it is with Young Thug. Like, But, I mean, he might have been a shooter. I don't know. He might have been, you know. But it's it's more to it than that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's more to it than that. But, you know, the younger generation, you know, and then, like I said, you know, he got the bag. He got the money, the drugs, the music, the fame, the women. Like, yeah, it's going to be a lot of dudes follow behind, bro. You know what I mean? Especially if he finna put them on to something and do something for them or get them a, you know what I'm saying, position, you know what I'm saying, in the organization where they can get money and stuff. Heck, yeah, people going to follow him. It don't matter how real he was or not, you know. But, uh, but anyway, um, uh, I, he came, so at the end of the day, he came to a position of power. He didn't come up through the streets. He was in the streets and, you know, he probably, he did some activity in the streets, but what really took him to the top was the industry. But that's not the point. He came to a position of power, period. He had some power. He, he got people on go. He calling shots. You know what I'm saying? So that's the point right there. And uh, But on some real G stuff, like I don't know the story, but I heard that they, him and YFN and Lucci, I heard they beef, you know, they both bloods, two, two different gangs or whatever. But uh, the, the, the reason for they beef started with a female, though. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Let me, let me, uh, yeah, let me do let me do something.